to me, my X-Men. Who likes a midweek away fixture? Not me. It's here. It's now. It's game day. Anyway, uh, once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, your favourite show of the week. I'm spoiling you now because we have a midweek fixture, so you're going to be getting three episodes in one week. We'll see us travel down the A1. It will take us about 40 minutes at 29.4 miles, where it's London Colney v Langford in the Spartan South Midlands Division 1. Five games in 13 days. You know you've got to love non-league football when even the professionals who are overpaid don't even have a schedule this congested. They really don't know how easy they've got it. Anyone are in looking for a cone collector? A bib out her? Anyway, that's another chat. Bollocks! Listen to football. Nose! <laughs> So London Colney finished 21st in the Combine Counties Division 1 last year. After 42 games, they ended on 30 points. Part owner and first team manager and a Barnet absolute fan favourite, getting his photo taken with a legend right next to him, Ken Challery, has been in charge for a little while now. I don't know the actual stats. Should have done my job better as a Barnet fan. I'll get them for next time we play them at home. And this was London Colney's Danger Men last season. I don't care about the mess. I don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Here we go again. I don't know. So, with that all being said, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's... Let me get the fuck out of here. Up the langy. <laughs> That's necessary. Answer the question. How fucking shocking was it? What's the most embarrassing part of it? The fact that we fucking give up. We fucking let our heads drop and we fucking picture that and give up. Which is fucking schoolboy shit. It's not what we fucking expect in any fucking team that I fucking manage. There are players in this team here that are fucking so much better than what you fucking showed on Saturday. Leaders, technical ability, strength, attitude, character. All fucking went missing. So now we have a chance tonight to rectify it. The bare fucking minimum is we fucking outwork every fucking team. Looking at all of you here. As a collective, you bring everyone up. If someone's not fucking putting their shift in, you fucking tell them. Even if it's your captain, even if it's your keeper, I don't give a flying fuck if it's your best mate. Friend! We don't carry passengers. That's not what football's about. If you want to have a fucking laugh and a crack with your mates, go and play on a fucking Sunday with your mates. Have it. Oh, yes. Don't play semi-pro football, because that's what this is. We know what we want, we know where we want to get to. Saturday was nowhere near an identification of how I would fucking want my team to play. I've done my talking, G's done his talking, about the warm-up. It's now on you boys. When you get your opportunity to come on the pitch, fucking take it. It's got to be 100% all the way through. I don't give a fuck, but we're bigger than you, better than you. All the communication's got to be better. When you give someone the ball, tell you what you can fucking do with it. Half stand up, we have to get three points. All of us need to stop being so nice on the pitch. We lose games on that. It's gonna happen, but the way we lose rolling over, fucking unacceptable. So going out there, focus on individual battles. The first header, send him on the fucking floor, even if it's a foul on the halfway line, I'll take it. Come, Come on, on. Come on, on. on. Bring them up. Stuart Robertson, Gaffer. 
Josh Keeper. Fred is the worthy defender. Adam Turner, defender. Michael Pickard, defender. Anthony Carr, defender. Tommy J. Allen, midfielder. Christos, midfielder. Grand Basra, winger. Flav, attacker. Dan Moore, striker. Gambizi, attacker. George, midfielder. Jake Younger, defender. So here we go, our first midweek game as four of our players line up on the halfway line looking to do the 100 meter sprint as the flash looks to play into them. But let's be honest, there's only one person that's going to win that race. Being stopped with a possession, looking to switch play. All the way over to the remaining Usain Bolt. Don and Coney have won first contact, but now they've lost it. Into Joey Essex, who plays it into Professor Green. He has the specimen to the side of him, but he's had a shot and the goalkeeper's parried. We will take the corner. Always good to test the keeper early on to see what he's about. Corner ball to be whipped in by the great god of vision. The specimen plays 1 2 with him as the great god leaps up. And that is a nasty fall right there. Referee, go check on him, please. That did not look comfortable. Not sure why number four for London Coney's just flopped on the floor, because all we done was just fall over the sausage. But this could be a little bit naughty for the Greek God of Vision, as Greek God of Vision will be seen too long since the shower steps over this free kick. That is played straight into the goalkeeper's hands. Number seven looks to play it back to keep possession, but number two has lost it and given it away. The remaining Usain Bolt, who will play in Joey Essex, Bursting down the swing, looks to cut in, which he does. Will he deliver? He can. It's cleared first time. Professor Green looking to bring this down. Looking for his options as he plays through to the remain using Bolt. Just can't get on the end of it, but that'll be a throw in. We have started very brightly. It's been all us so far. The Greek God of Vision has entered the field of play again as he launches one in. It's flipped on, but the safe hands of the goalkeeper on this. Goal kick to London Colney. As the keeper looks to lift this into our half. Professor Green doesn't win first contact. Pushed. Who was that? Was that the non-league patch of the air, right? It bloody well was and all. But the referee has seen a foul in the second contact. Thought the first one was more of a foul than the second one. But hey, uh, we'll go with these officials because, you know, they know what they're talking about. They are the experts after all. They never get anything wrong, do they? Number 11 for London Colney to play this in. Feel a bit direct. Spicy Italian, not too sure, but safety first and we'll take that. So number 11 who took the free kick will take this corner as it's played in. Bounced around. Oh, is there a handball? They repeat it. And yes, the referee has given a penalty. The imposter pleads his innocence, but the referee's having none of it. That will be a penalty to London Colney. And number 11, who has been involved in the free kick to the build up to the corner, to the build up to the penalty, has sent a spicy Italian in the other way, and it is 1 0 to London Colney. Kim behind the goal, really enjoyed that one. We've got our work cut out now. So unfortunately, the Greek god of vision can no longer continue. We've had to make a change. He will be going up AE as non league Patrick Vieira tries to switch play for London Colney and get him out of trouble. But a remaining Usain Bolt has seen that danger. He plays it into Professor Green, who plays it into the imposter. They play a little one too as Professor Green's driving forward. He sees the flash. He's played him in. Professor Green thinks it's a bad ball, but it's not. The flash is looking for his options as he sees Benny Boy. Benny Boy looking to deliver, which he does into Professor Green. And that's straight into the keeper's hands. That's another chance for us to make it 1 1. And from that clearance from London Colney, we look to start and build again as Beanstalk playing to the spicy Italian as we look to play it from the back. Spicy Italian to Longest in the Shower. Longest in the Shower. Into the middle of Professor Green. Professor Green plays it into Joey Essex, who's driving down that wing. Plays it into the specimen, who cuts in. It has a shot. And it's a good save by the keeper, but he's parried. No one following up. Come on, gents. Two great counter-attacks from us, one after the other. Could have been leading by now if we had a bit of bollocks about us. Flash looking to drive. As he's fouled once again by number four. That's got to be the third or fourth time this geezer's done this. Referee, have you forgot your cards today, mate? I don't think he's here to play football. Don't think he knows how to play football. I think he's just here to kick people. The flash to whip this in. Keeper punches. But the remaining Usain Bolt. Fancy that effort. But it's gone for a goal kick. Hard breaks it with our throwing into Professor Green. As Professor Green turns and does one. He cuts past two. He's driving into the box. And he's been fouled, that's a penalty. Yes, this is a penalty, and it's at number four once again, who has brought one of our players down. The referee, you're gonna do anything about it. The geezer's a danger. Where did you find him, lads? Christ almighty. Was you short on players, and when can anyone play football? Because he fucking can't. Longest in the shower, the skipper, to step up. He missed his last one. This time, 
He's gone and put it in the back in the net. The goalkeeper didn't even attempt to move because he knew he'd be embarrassed if he even tried to save that. Get up there, 1-1. One, one. London Coley looking to knock it around in triangles. As number seven tries to switch it all the way over. It's been cut out by Longest in the shower into the path of the Roman Usain Bolt. And we know what's going to happen here, don't we? Nyeong gone past one. Nyeong gone past two. Can he deliver? He does. He's his best win. He's been. Fretching with the bar. Wow. Could have been. Five, six, seven, Goals in front. Three to be taken by the flash. As he whips this in. It's away by London Coney. Not enough. Specimen has a shot. So it's a P roller. Deflected back out. Into the path of the Romain Usain Bolt. As he sees Longest in the shower, he tries to play him in. But the keeper will grab that. And the referee calls half time. Where it's London Coney 1, Langford 1. We're battered over all the way through. The first, second, first. Everything. Just need to carry on for the next 45. The literal different team out there from what I've seen the last three weeks. Actually hungry for it. Wanna fucking battle, yeah. wanna win everything. What did I ask for? The reaction. What have I got? Right. Fucking, fucking brilliant reaction. Aggressive, assertive, wanting to win every fucking tackle. But you know what the best thing? The communication across the whole team is so much better, so much more cohesive. It's only one all. And if we want to have a look at it, Tay should score. Tommy's got a good chance, should score. Sam's got to score. Much, much, much better response. But it counts for fuck all if we don't keep the level. So whatever happens now in this next 15 minutes while you're off, do not let your energy Go up. When we go out there, some of them are a little bit thick set. We don't let our fucking levels drop at all. We're taking three points, yes? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Much, much better. But, and it's a but, this is an absolute three points. Yeah. You're going to look at this team throughout the season and they ain't going to pick up many points. We drop points at rules that we shouldn't have done. Cannot afford to drop points here. But we keep driving at them. We keep the pace and they will crumble. And when things are going against you, they always fucking go against you. The next 10 minutes are super, super important. We can blow them up the water the next 10. We will get that second goal. It fucking will come. Second, third, fourth. When it comes, remember how much of a fucking virgin you felt like last week when we got a fucking arse his answers. It was fucking embarrassing. They didn't even celebrate that last goal. Now it's our turn. Smell fucking blood. That goal will come. We don't win this game by one goal. We turn it up again. Again, fucking relentless. We haven't turned up for three, nine minutes. If we get to that 89th minute, and we're three, four goals in. You go again. We fucking owe it now. Because we've let three 90 minutes pass us by. So now we fucking make up for it. Come on. As referee gives a signal for London Coney to get this second half underway, let's see if all the talk in the change room turns into action. Or is it jet talk? London Coney looking to get his team up the pitch. The ball's knocked into her half. One by our Brexit. Into the remaining Usain Bolt. We will play that back into Beanstalk who will give this specimen something to chase. Can he win his battle? He's got to the ball first as he delivers and he sees Benny Boy and he's seeing it, it's 2-1 and what a start that is for the second half, gents. Boom! <laughs> the super sub who replaced the Greek God of Vision has put us 2-1 up. Number 11 for London Coney to whip this free kick in to get his team back in the game is not great, but number nine would do the best with he can as he knocks it past Joey Essex. But longest in the shower is there to intercept and block with his leg. Or was it his cock? We'll never know. Or do we want to know? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Hard Brexit knocks this into the flash. As he looks to get past number two. And he does. He does get the better of him. As he's chasing down on goal. Looks to cut in. Number two has got to be very careful here. As the flash looks to hold his run. Cut back in. And it's a foul. Referee, come on. Yes, that's our second penalty of the game. Well done. The non-league patch of Vera kicks the ball away in disgustment, but you cannot argue with facts. There are only two. So just like in the first half, our skipper, our leader, our main man, longest in the shower, looking to double his lead, looking to put us 3-1 up. Is the keeper going to make a bit more of an effort this time? He does. It's hit the post and it's in. Get in there. Fantastic. We are now 3-1 up. The man has got himself a brace. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. I don't know what that saying means. I don't even understand it. He doesn't need it on his teeth. It means he scored two goals. Free kick to London Coney, about 30 yards out. There's only one thing he's going to be doing from here. And that's a save and half from the spicy Italian. Another one for the cameras, and he really enjoyed that one. Yeah, mamma mia. The imposter plays it into Beanstalk. Beanstalk lifts it in the box of Professor Green. Flick on to Benny Boy, has a shot. But he's nothing on. He lays it back to the specimen, and the specimen just rolls it into the bottom corner. Absolutely running right here tonight. It's only fair we bring it back from the very first vlog that we've done. And that 
is 4-1. As cool as you like, as easy as that. And here we are once again playing total football, showing everyone how we do by playing it out from the back. Spicy Italian into Beanstalk. Beanstalk back into the Spicy Italian. Spicy Italian into Longest in the Shower. Longest in the Shower plays it into Beanstalk. We're in no rush. We're 4-1 up. We've got a free goal cushion. You come at us, throw that kitchen sink, and I'll throw you an hour and that smash it into pieces. As long as in the shower finds the remaining you saying, Oh, he just dips the shoulder and he's away. As he puts the ball through to the specimen. Can't get onto it, but the keeper's quick of his line. Nice little bit of football there. Don't need to rush. You come and attack us, and we'll fucking put you to the sword. As long as in the shower plays this into Professor Green. Professor Green looking to play into the Stevenage Perlo. Look at that. Thanks for coming. As he plays it into Bombscare. Bombscare looking to switch. And he does. As he finds Beanstalk. As he looks to get us forward. Lifting it long. Into Hard Brexit. Hard Brexit plays it into Miller Time. Miller Time playing it forward into Cam. Who has no nickname. Cam's looking for his options. He plays it into Miller Time. Can hit it first time. No, he's tried a little dummy and dragon then. Professor Green just knocks it over the bar. You'd have your fucking ass on him hitting the target, wouldn't you? Bombscare having a little drive forward. As he's got one round him. Goes past two. Goes past three. Plays it into Stevenage Perlo. Looking for his options. As he plays into Cam, who has no nickname. He has a first time shot. Nothing that a keeper can't handle. Professor Green to collect this. Play it into the remaining Usain Bolt. Who cuts back. Looking to play it safe. Oh no, he's been intercepted by number 12. Ducking and diving, bobbing and weaving. It's strictly come dancing. He doesn't know what to do. And he's fluffed it. Remaining Usain Bolt felt sorry for them and thought it would give them half a chance. Into the Stevenage Perlo, who plays this over to the remaining Usain Bolt. Looking to drive once more. They are not going to catch him as he takes on them all. Go on, son. As he cuts it in to Cam, who has no nickname. Back into Professor Green, who doesn't shoot first time. He knocks it out wide. Balls play back into Professor Green. Drops the shoulder and then has a shot where it's harder than it was the first time round, you absolute sausage. Yeah, you know it and all. Manny Usain Bolt plays a 1-2 back into Professor Green, who plays it into the Stevenage Perlo. First time, saved by the goalkeeper. Quick Dan to his right. It has been complete and utter one-way traffic in this half. Only one team in it. As the referee looks at his watch, counting down the seconds, as he wants to go home himself. And there you have it, full time, London Colney 1, Langford Four. The standard has now been set. You do not let your levels drop below this bar. It doesn't matter what opposition we play. The levels of work rate, commitment, desire, character do not drop below this. We're going in at 1-0 down after outplaying them for a good 20 minutes. We could have dropped down to how we've been for the last couple of games and our mindset could have shifted. We go in there at half time, we have a good chat. You're all positive. You smell. You shit. You take it all on board and you've come out and your levels didn't stay, they risen. If you want to see some treasure, I'll show you my chest. Don't worry, that's going to be in the order. Nothing else. Cunt. How better does it feel here with three points yeah, after playing well? You do not, and we will not fucking let you let it drop. We dominated the midfield. In games, we will switch and change formations, and we have to be on to that really quickly to do that. It makes a difference in the game. Completely different performance to Saturday. Completely different performance from every. Pickard, Tommy, first win of the season. A fantastic 4 1. Great win, great performance. Pickard, two goals for yourself. Tommy, engine in that midfield today. Talk to me. What was it like out there? I think it was good. I think we started off all right, started working together, started putting that graft in, went in half time at 1-1 and then from second half we literally just destroyed them. Pickard, you stepped up from the penalty spot twice. Now that takes balls to one step up, not only to put it in the back of the net once, but to go again. Was there any doubt at all you just thought, nah, I'm having this, considering you did miss one against Rawns not long ago? I think the one against Rawns, a poor penalty. The first penalty, the keeper made it very easy. The second one, he didn't go. Back myself and just go to one corner and fucking buried it, to be fair. So next up is a away game against Huntingdon, who have beat Rothwell 1-0 tonight. We're coming into that, we've just got our first three points. How do we go and keep this moment and going. The mindset tonight was a lot better, a lot more positive, all the lads up to a next level. It's still very early on with the games. We're still sort of finding out how teams are improved, what they've done. Ultimately, I think we just have to back ourselves. I think whoever we play against in this league, we've already shown towards the back end of last season. It's just going to be another game that we need to get the free points. It was too hot to record myself in the car, but what I will say is, iceberg, what iceberg? Next up, away to Huntingdon. You know what to do. Make sure you do it so that we can afford a proper VO so I can see people in the dark. Tala!